Okay, now I want to give some example for these tectonic plates. Here from this map, there are some uh, uh, tectonic plates are given. So, example, Eurasian tectonic plate, North American tectonic plate, South American tectonic plate, and uh, Pacific tectonic plate. So, there are some. So, you can go through it. Then, I want to ask a small question. What is the tectonic plate that Sri Lanka is situated? Think about it. Do you know the answer for this? Okay, then I want to introduce it. This is very important. Sri Lanka is situated in Australian Indian tectonic plate. Again, I want to repeat that. Sri Lanka is situated on Australian Indian tectonic plate. Okay, then I want to give an example. One example for tectonic plate boundary or margin. We have learned what is a tectonic plate boundary in between two tectonic plates. There is a margin. We call it as plate boundary. And San Andreas Fault is uh, one example for this plate boundary. So we will learn about some facts about this. It is a plate margin situated in between the two tectonic plates. North America. American plate and Pacific plate. It is situated in between the two plates of North American plate and Pacific plate. Then it is situated in North America in California. Then length is about 1000 kilometers and from the top, if you observe it from the top, the shape of this uh, St. Andreas Fort is taking a bird's eye. Okay, then we have to learn about the movement of tectonic plates. Uh, these tectonic, I told that this uh, earth crust is made out of different segments and they are called as tectonic plates. And these tectonic plates uh, float. So, to explain it furthermore, I want to take a small example. Uh, at uh, home you can do it. Take a water bucket and put some strips of polythene on it and just observe. But can you see? You can see the polythene strips are float on water. Same as that the tectonic plates on the crust are float on the lava. On the lava. So they are moving relative to these tectonic plates are moving relative. They are not stilt. They are moving relative to each other. So when the movement, when we take this movement, uh, there are uh, three main methods of movement. So we have to learn about those three methods of movement on this tectonic plate. So I have given, I have represented by these diagrams. Uh, there are three main methods of movement of tectonic plates. First so one is slide past. Okay, look at here. I want to explain this from this uh, wooden blocks. Slide past, moving. One front and the other back slide, slide pass. So that is one method of movement of tectonic plates. And second method uh, that is move apart. Two tectonic plates push on each other and press away. Push on each other and press away. So that is a second method that is plates move apart. Then third method, one plate. When moving, one will move up by pressing the other down. One will move up by pressing the other down. So those are the three main methods of moving up tectonic plates. I hope you can identify that and understand that. Okay, then we will go to the next one. Uh, about I want to talk furthermore about this movement of tectonic plates. These tectonic plates move very slowly. About 1 or 2 centimeters per year. They don't move very faster. Even we can't recognize it. It's a very slow movement. About 1 centimeter to 2 centimeter movement can be seen per year. When some of these tectonic plates are tectonic plate boundaries are positioned below the sea and some can be seen on the ground. Then uh, I told that they clash. Sometimes when they are moving relatively, normally they are moving relatively, but sometimes they clash. Due to these clashes, if the tectonic plates are placed on the land, if they clash together, what will happen? They will cause earthquakes and while if the tectonic plates are positioned in the ocean and when they clash together, they will cause tsunamis. And uh, due to the uh, this, if the countries and places are positioned in these plate boundaries, 
what will happen they will subject to prominent earthquake so next i have given a list in the next in the next in the next uh, slide i have given a list of countries and places which prominent earthquakes can be seen example nepal okra india china tibet mount everest Kathmandu, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. So those are some. So you can find furthermore. Okay, students. So that's. I want to go for a summary of this lesson. In this lesson, we learn what is a solar system, what is our solar system, sun. All the planets and all the objects revolve around the sun are known as our solar system, and Earth is from the sun. Earth is Situated in the third place, and there are eight planets in the solar system, and to recognize that we can use my very efficient mother just showed us Neptune. Then you can learn about the eight planets. Then we learn about the structure of the Earth. We took the egg, and we learn there are three layers of the Earth that is called crust, mantle, and core. Then we learn about the crust, mantle, and core. Furthermore. What are the elements present in them, and what is the thickness of them? And then we learn that this crust is made out of these segments, uh, the sections, and they are called as tectonic plates. In between tectonic plates, there are uh, tectonic plate boundaries, and we learn examples for tectonic plates. And we learn one example for tectonic plate boundary that is set in Andreas Fault, and we learn further about this in. Uh, and we ask for, and we learn the movement of the tectonic plates. We learn there are three methods of movement of tectonic plates, and we learn when these tectonic plates clash on each other, earthquakes will be take place and tsunamis will take place. And we learn what are the common places where the prominent earthquakes can be take place. So that is all about. Go through this lesson, learn properly, and try to find furthermore. And thank you for listening. and good day to you my dear students